Hey. Hi. <sighs> How's everybody doing today? Whew! Tyler McVicker here. Been busy. Uh, working on just a whole bunch of fucking stuff. Um, hi there. You know what you need to do. No, I know. It's not today, though. Be made? You guys didn't read the... It's not here yet. Uh, the maid outfit's here on Monday. So... I've been working hard on a bunch of different things. Um, been getting the old computer up and running. Um, pretty much every component in it <laughs> was faulty in some way. So much so that I'm thinking about asking for a refund for this computer because it stated that it worked in the eBay listing. Both disk drives in it. Um, the hard disk, uh, the floppy drive, the CPU cooler. Um, yeah, I needed to replace all of that, and I did, and it posts, and I was able to get it to boot up into DOS just fine. Um, it's, a, it's an HP Pavilion from 1999. <coughs> um, the issue is that the hard, I didn't have any other um, IDE hard disks, so I ordered um, a couple of things. I ordered a new old stock IDE drive from IBM. Uh, that's a 30 gig drive. Um, uh, I ordered an IDE to SD card converter, um, which I can try. Maybe use an SD card as the main drive. And then I also bought a SATA to uh, IDE converter so I could use an SSD in it. Um, and I'll test all those out. Uh, those will be here Monday, um, and, uh, I ordered the phone, an old telephone, one of those clear neon color telephones. Do you have a 3D card? Yes, I do. It's an NVIDIA GeForce 4, which is not period accurate, but it is one of the most powerful graphics cards you could have put into a, 90, a Windows 98 Pentium 4 machine. Um, the maid outfit arrives on Monday. Yeah, it's a GeForce 4, uh, 4400 or 4800 or something TI, 8X. Um, I'm actually running an Athlon machine, an Athlon 2000 machine. Yeah. Um, which has better AGP support for 8X cards. Um, which that, I got that, um, advice from um, Digital Foundry. Some people from Digital Foundry, I've been asking questions and they've been very nice in answering, which is very nice of them. Um, yeah, people are coming out of the woodwork. They're very interested in this project, which is cool. Um, I got the cell phone, uh, not the cell phone. I got the this telephone, landline telephone. I got a magic, an old magic jack, which is a USB to RJ11 converter. And then I'm using a third party program uh, that allows you to connect that Magic Jack device into either a Google Voice account or a Skype Voice account. Um, I am gonna test both of them out. There, you know, and then that'll be how people call in. Um, and I messaged Wayne Radio TV because earlier today, um, uh, Coolman came up with the idea of having a fax machine going in the background, connected in that people can call in and send stuff. Um, so I, 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 I messaged Wayne, like, how did you hook up that fax machine? And I'm waiting on a response, but, uh, guess we're getting a fax machine. So exclamation point, donate in the chat if you want to be able to, you know, help get a fax machine. Um, the maid outfit will be worn either Monday or Tuesday. Um, so, you know, there's that. Uh, yeah, and ink. Ugh. And it has to be a fax machine from the period, too. So, there's all that. Um, uh, I've purchased a couple games, a few smaller games. Um, some of my childhood games that I'm going to play. It just, it just so happened that I guess Sierra had a warehouse buyout or something. 
um, because a whole bunch of the games I played as, and as my child are just sealed for like $20 in box. They're like little like no-name games that nobody really played, like like the 3D Ultra, The Incredible Machine, and Pinball, and Mini Golf, and you know, like little, little cheapo kind of games from back in the 90s, which I was all over. Um, so that's cool. Um, we also have, uh, I think like nine more Raid Shadow Legends things that need to happen for me to get the total amount of money out of it. If I get nine more, I think I get an extra $400, so. Exclamation point, Raid in the chat, download the game for free, complete the tutorial. If I get nine more people to do that, I get an extra like 400 bucks, so. That'd be great. Um, I'm, I, um. I was talking to my mom about the project, um, and my grandfather used to have an office, and I guess in the office is a whole bunch of old computer equipment that I just didn't know about, um, and I'm going to be getting that, which is cool. We'll see what's in there. Um, but yeah, so how about that? There's a lot of cool stuff going on, man. Lots and lots of cool stuff. Any cool CRTs? I'm hoping. Yeah, because as of right now, I'm going to be using a 4x3 LCD. Which, in 2000, sure, that existed. But I kind of want a, a CRT as well. Maybe one of each. We'll see. So how's everybody doing today? What do you guys want to do? What about a PVM? Nah. Uh, are you raising money for something? Uh, sorry, I haven't been keeping up lately. Uh, it's this really big project I've been working on for a while. <laughs> where I'm live streaming from the past. Uh, there's a video on it on the channel. Are you going to show off the other big thing you got? Oh, I don't have that yet. So no. Are you talking about from the old guy? Because I don't have that yet. <laughs> favorite games from my childhood get ourselves in the mood is this shadow run no this is um it's from deus ex check this out it's probably gonna be loud here for a second the return of the incredible machine contraptions Bow. welcome to my ear There you go. <laughs> Yeah. That's what happens when you play old games. Click on the Oh good lord. Let's make a. Let's make a profile. I can't. There's not enough for passionate gamer. Good lord. Why?
Okay, so I guess the MIDI music doesn't have the volume. Jesus Christ. Did anyone play this as a kid? Oh. Okay. Don't click the help button. <laughs> Please Apply. stop following. Right. Thank you for the follows. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Hi, I'm the professor. If you're playing this, this is probably your first contraption. If not, you can turn me off by clicking on the done button. Click on next to hear more or back to hear previous instructions. What? This takes about two minutes. The large area behind why, me why is the is contraption playfield. So this is where you solve all the contraptions I've constructed for you aspiring apprentices. Oh, sure. So this guy ignores the slider. Okay, so how do you fix that? Like this. You just you, you turn it down in the in the fucking OS. Knock the eight ball off the screen. Please click on all of the pointing finger hints and read them before you start. Oh, okay. Watch how each one of these balls bounces when you click the start button. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. They all bounce different. Wow. Note how this glittery Super Bowl bounces. It seems to have an endless supply of energy. How about that? Note how this eight ball rolls around as if you're looking down on it. Mm. Whereas the rest of the balls act as if you're looking at them from the side. Oh. Click once on the Super Bowl in the parts bin. Oh, now you're just giving me the solution, right. Yay! We'll put both bowling balls into the large column box in the center. Be sure and read all of the hints. You don't tell me what to do. Dun 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 dun. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Speed running the tutorial of this game so you can get to the good part. Even though you can skip it, but why would you do that? All right. Bum 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 bum. What's up, gamers? I'm hungover. What's up, man? I hung him over. I'm Tyler. Oh. We're, we're, we're solving contraptions at, at speeds unheard of. I go! How's the project going? Very good. Did you read the donation goal? It's the incredible machine. Hold oh, now. I love this game. I played the fuck out of this game, dude. It's Yo, we got a new raider. Thank you very much. We only need eight more. Oh. 
I'm thinking about getting a fax machine. I'm. Uh, it's absurd how expensive that old technology is. Exactly. Classic. Song of my childhood. Yeah, I play Crazy Machines. It's nowhere near as good. You're completely right. country are you from? Oh, you're Polish. Tyler, do you play Raid Shadow Legends? Every day. Pop the happy face balloon, but none of the other balloons. You got it, bud. Pop all the blimps. You can't tell me what to do. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, that's terrible. There are people on there. Launch all the hot air hot fire bubbles. Big old buddies. I've got buddies. And I've got ass. Mm. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Oh, I, 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 I don't get it. Bye bye. Hmm. 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 Can we offer our childhood games? If they're, they're, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tutorials are boring. I probably shouldn't have started with the tutorials and went right to the fun, the fun bit. But what can you do? This was the other game they did in the original series. So, hi guys. Hi. No, he's no. no, he's games, bruh. <laughs> All these fucking games. Too many. Too many. Too many games. Let's play you know Jack, because fuck yeah. Okay, let me turn it. Let me turn it down real quick. Can you guys read this? A raunchy sex scene unexpectedly pops up during a cartoon. What do you do? Cover their eyes and ears, or play it in slow motion? We play it in slow motion, baby. Yeah, there's a thing for pervs like you. It's called sterilization. This game is the shit. Welcome to the ride. I understand you're handy with the slow motion control. I'm afraid that won't do you much good down on the floor you're headed to. How many of you are there? Oh, does it look bad? All right, hold on. Wait until we get a screen with color on it. You're alone by so yourself. So I can, I can tell. Great, thank you. How many questions would you like to play? Seven. Seven. Thirteen? Okay, great. Oh, okay. You should be typing in your name now. Very good. Remember to be all you can be. And now, it's time for the best part of the ride. Remember, you're always getting closer to the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know 
Jack, The Ride is brought to you by the Backwards Christian Lyrics Coalition. We'll find a satanic reference in your children's music, whether it's there or not. And now, here's your host, the one, the only, Cookie! Okay, well... All right, that gives me a general idea. This one's very, uh, very. It's not the. Oh, it's number. It's the fourth Jack box. Yeah, you don't know Jack. You don't know Jack Volume Two. You don't know Jack Volume Three. And then you don't know Jack Four. The Ride. And you don't know Jack Four. The Ride is the best fucking one. Okay. See, it's all dark, so I'm going to have to fucking kind of guess. I'll I'll readjust it as the stream continues. Welcome. So, you'd let the kids watch the naughty cartoons, huh? Well, let's see how much we can slip past the censors. <laughs> All right, practice saying the seven naughty words, and let's take on censorship. Fuck, piss, shit, piss. All right, it's time to choose the value of the question. Let's do it. Ay, 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 ay. Here's your category. Censorship. More like censorship. And now, the question. If today's censors had the same job duties as the first Roman censors, which of these would they be doing? Torturing the doors, photographing Robert Maplethorpe, sentencing the Smothers Brothers to prison, or counting copies of Hustler? I don't know. It's yours if you... The Smothers Brothers? I think Mom always liked right answers better. <laughs> oh, look what I have here. The correct answer. 41, 42, how does she do that? Uh, I mean, that, that, that's disgusting, don't look! The original censors took census, which means they counted things, and they took a break to read the articles. All right, buzz in for the cash. This one's called, keep your censorship off my private parts. You know, political correctness has gotten way out of hand. There's even this a human muscle named the PC muscle. If you're having problems with your PC muscle, what's the best PC term to use in describing it? The urinarily challenged muscle? The Go get it! Aw, oh, just can't do anything right, can you? Watch and learn. The PC muscle, or the pubococcygeal muscle, controls the flow of urine from the bladder and contributes to greater sexual pleasure in women, without offending anyone at all. Now, I like to call this category... Censorship and Hardwood. Okay, you ready for this question? 3997 is on the table, here it is. If you tie a blue ribbon around the old oak tree, what cause are you supporting? Freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom of expression online, or NAMBLA? Go for it! Hey, not everybody can be right, just the winners. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the right answer. The Blue Ribbon Campaign is for free speech online. You should consider publishing photos of your oak tree on your homepage, because none of the online freaks will ever go outside to see it. Here's your category. I'll wash your thesaurus out with soap. Let's get going. Which of these is not a dirty word? Slatternly, abluted, bedraggled, or squalid? Take it! Abluted means washed clean. Hey! No, it's not really dirty. Unless you I'm say terrible at this. Being abluted. I'm good at the modern ones. Oh, nice picking. Well, these questions well, are old. wouldn't you know it? It's time to play this or that. The category for this this or that is 
I see no evil, but I can smell it a mile away. Okay, I'm gonna list off seven people, and for each one, I want you to tell me if they're someone who sees no evil, someone who hears no evil, or someone who neither sees nor hears evil. As each one comes up, if it's someone who just sees no evil, press one. If it's someone who just hears no evil, press so two. What? Blind and deaf both, people. Press three. If you're not sure, press four. You're gonna get some money for each right answer, and you're gonna lose some for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, you have 30 seconds to get all of them. When the wire fills up, you're out of time. And here we go. Stevie Wonder! See? Marley Matlin! I don't know who that is. Helen Keller! I kinda need Oedipus. to be on there. Oedipus was blind, right? Yeah. Ray Charles! He's blind. Ludwig von Beethoven! He was deaf. The Who's Tommy! He was both. Alright. Uh, hello, seven out of seven. Let's throw that into your total. Hell yeah. All right, there it is. Let's keep moving. This game is nowhere near as fun if you're playing it by yourself. Coming up. Tipper Gore. You ready? That's Let's a good go. idea, astronaut. Say Astro Tipper stands. Gore treats her husband Al to a $50 dinner. If Tipper Gore is a good tipper, what is the smallest amount she should... Go get it. Seven fifty. Hmm. Yeah, that, that'd be yeah, the customary 15%, 15 tip. Yeah, I know that one. Which leaves her and Al just enough money to buy a few Two Live Crew albums to burn when they get home. Hey, buzz into selective... Hey, can't be too disappointed with that. Here's your category. I understand moral, but what's turpitude? You know that song by Ice-T called Cop... C hey, lady, y you can't come in here. What are you... Hey, don't put... The what, what are you... Ow! I'm covered in stickers. Here, look at this. Ow, my short hairs. <clears throat> Parental advisory explicit lyrics. Who's going around slapping these stickers on everything? The FCC, the NRA, the PMRC, or the PCP? <laughs> Go for it! Now, the FCC would come in if I got a radio show, but why would I want to hide this bod from my fans? <laughs> the correct answer is... <laughs> Good Damn tipper it. gore and the parents music resource center campaign for the Do you guys remember when uh, no you don't that was the mid 90s I see this is a great way for me to study for the fucking no show Nothing better to do head oh majority monkey suckers with a frozen boot Now there's an explicit warning Okay nice shot here's your category God you have the right to remain silent and minty. Uh, you gotta get your score on the plus side here. Let's nah. What issue would Scope's monkey trial most likely involve? Slander of the healing power of mouthwash? Bootlegging, rinsing, and spitting? Immigrating bacteria that causes bad breath? It's yours if you... The original Scopes Monkey Trial took place when enlightened uh -huh. Tennesseans jailed biology teacher John Scopes for teaching evolution. Apparently, creationists also believe that fresh breath is an act of God. <laughs> okay, Shitting on creationists the even back then. Is... My fellow congressman, try the veal! So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. Considering the specific issue to which congressional Yo. gag rules Man, pertain, which of these you gag G. artists' acts would be Thank censored? You. Rip Taylor organizing a union? Henny Youngman petitioning against slavery? Take it! But seriously, folks, my union ensures I can take a coffee break after every joke. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Here's what you should have picked. Until they were deemed unconstitutional, gag rules in the House of Representatives prevented members from considering anti-slavery petitions. Whoa, really? It's your buzzard. It's dead, it's disgusting, it's roadkill. What the fuck is this? Okay, let me explain how this- Hey, works. another one! You see different pairs that are somehow related. And you're gonna get a bunch of items that may or may not connect the pair. You gotta buzz in to select the item you think correctly joins the two. There's a thousand bucks in it for you if you're right, but beware, you're gonna lose a grand every time you're wrong. And 
we're gonna wrap it all up with a final bonus round worth some extra cash. Pay attention all the correct answers and you might have a shot at the bonus. Yo. Is that clear? Good. Let's hit it. An essay in flavor plastic bag. Paper. These two things have Paper. 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 Score. Washington State. Wood. Blanky blank Woody Woodpecker. Wood. 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 Yeah. Score. Turns into diamonds. Coal. 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 Come on, Cole. Yeah. Yes. Cars use it. Gas. It cause it. Gas. 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 Seven more in the yes, seven more. Tampa NHL team and go grease blank. Lightning. Nebraska, Michigan City. And skin blank equals miser. Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> to coordinate and blank box cars. Match. 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 Yo, thank you for the Twitch Prime, Kane Catarus. Nab that bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Gas, lightning. No, gas. No. Crash and burn. It's oh flammable stuff. Oh god damn it. Fuck. That's what you're Ah shoot. Come on, man. Good God, that's Holy a lot of money. shit, if I look Oh my god, I can't get this question wrong. Comstocks and bondage. Art. Okay, play ball. Yeah. If you don't put much stock in the Comstock law, what will you probably do? Stage pornographic performance, <laughs> take pornographic photos of yourself, publish pornographic photos on the internet, or mail porno mags to your buddies. Uh Go for it. I know, you only read them for the articles. Oh! Also known as the Federal Anti-Obscenity Act, the Comstock Law bans the mailing of indecent Pick materials. Pick the porn you one. Know, it, was, uh, it was just too distracting for the postal carriers. Now select the hunt. We're calling this one. Low prices every day. Every fucking day. Here we go. Where is Walmart headquartered? Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, Troy, it's Arkansas. It's yours Bentonville, Arkansas. Yeah. Yep, that'd be Bentonville. Arkansas. Why are you asking right me there that? In Arkansas. Hey, what did that have to do Seriously, with? Seriously, please stop okay, supporting my kicker. I donated to you yesterday about a source two tweet and you didn't respond. Also, please unban medic head. Thank you for the two dollars. Oh right, yeah. How do I unban you? Unban. Back a bomb. Yo. Thanks for two bucks, by the way. Tell you the question. Alright. It's the jack attack. To the jack attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Jack Buzz attack. In when you see two items on the screen that match. Yep. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You hate Jack's clue. sex voice? Sensory What are you talking about? <laughs> His and name's Cookie. do not forget, the match has to fit the clue. All right. Sensory overload. Go. Love at first sight. Okay, so their senses. Touch. Oh, uh, hearing. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Smell. Smell, yes. 
Taste. Taste. It's a fake tweet. It's a fake tweet. Oh, fuck. It's the sixth sense. It's the sixth. I plead the sixth. Damn it. Right. Boston legal? It's the sixth. Yeah, I get that one. Close. Uh, just as well. No one was around to see it anyway. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, I did okay. His tweets are just as credible as yours. DM me the thing. It'll be such a blast because I'm going on a fast with you. All right, same players, go. New episode, same players. Thank you. <sighs> if you looked outside and saw someone doing a high wire act to your telephone line, what would you do? I would applaud and scream in delight. You must love the circus. No, nothing beats eating cotton candy. And watching abused animals perform. <laughs> 1999, everybody. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride, is brought to you by Lil Frankie's Flea Circus, the circus where every kid's a wiener. And okay. Now here's your host, Dude, Buzz. every... Hey, 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 how you doing? Welcome to You Don't Know Jack, The Ride. My name's Buzz, and I'm gonna be your guy... ...on your... ...trip down... Now. What's at the bottom, you say? Well, let's just say it's a surprise. Whoa! Surprise? Buzz? Helen, what's the deal? What the hell is Buzz doing here? Wait a second. Stand by, please. Cookie? Helen, the trap door in the booth is open. C Cookie, what did you do? What? I didn't do anything. Jesus, Cookie, that trap door goes to the bottom. The bottom? Yes, the bottom. Wow, that's kind of scary. <laughs> Buzz was supposed to be there, Cookie. There's been a change in the lineup. You're not going on again until after Buzz, Schmitty, and Guy. Oh, come on. I'm into my second episode here. Now, now you're sending me all the way down to the, the, the 350th floor or something? Cookie, get out of the booth. Ray, could you get Guy up here to host, please? You know something? Guy's down on the Hollywood floor harassing Keanu Reeves. I don't think you're going to find him in time. Ugh, fine, Cookie. Fine. You can keep going. Happy now? I'm just here to do my job, Helen. Let's just get on with it already. We're hey, never, we can never you. escape Please Keanu Reeves on the show. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. I hope you find this as amusing as a circus high wire act, because we're playing without a net. <laughs> so, uh, are you ready for a three-ring circus? Mm-hmm. Let's ride. Right. Okay, give it up for... Circus of the Flaming Gassy Stars. Okay, you remember Circus of the Stars, right? No! Suppose you see a circus featuring celestial stars. If a white dwarf appears in the center ring, how will his act go over? He'll be the show's biggest, brightest star, he'll just phone in his performance, he'll be a real bang-up success, or he'll die on stage. Go get it! I don't get it, it went over great in Peoria. White dwarf stars are stars Add that are me about on to Discord. go out once and for all. And I understand they prefer to be called white little stars. Oh, Jesus. 1999. This one's called... Nothing like a circus tragedy for a good laugh. Guess the magic number here is 3565. Could be your lucky number. Let's find out. 
Which of the following sounds would be least amusing to a funambulist? Would it be sound one? Sound two? Sound three? Or sound four? Again, that's sound one. Sound two? What's a funambulist? It's a... Or sound four? I'm gonna say four. Now that's what the white dwarf is gonna do to improve his dying act. <laughs> Damn it. You should have picked this. A funambulist is a tightrope walker. I'm guessing they wouldn't be amused by the sound oh. of someone falling to their death. But showing on America's funniest home videos. <laughs> and we're talking instant comedy. America's funniest home videos. Rest in peace, it's Bob Saget. Could I interest you in some roadkill? Oh boy, here we go with the roadkill again. Remember, when you see the item that correctly connects the pair, hit your buzzer. And that bonus question at the end could mean even more cash. Can you say Grease Lightning? Just checking. Here we go. Pertaining to Greek God's home and Cobalt Blue. What's the common link between these two? Oh, I don't get it. The woman wears white and close association. Score. Bell's big invention and yellow hit blank line. Score. Hypermedia system and spider's domain. A web. Place to hang your shoes and shafts Richard Brown blank. Shoe tree. Remember shoe trees? English holiday blank day. Boxing day. I love feeding crunchy. Military officers. Captain. Orchestra section. Oh. Oh, top brass. Right, 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 right. Okay, it's bonus time. What do all the correct answers have in Olympic, common? Olympic, brass. No. Types of rings. Tree. Amateur sports. Kinds of flies. Christmas ornaments. Wow, was that sucky. <sighs> I got all of them right. Only to get lose. Ah, uh, damn it! Let's keep moving. I lost all my my. Oh, fart. Here's your category. I'm a graduate of Wasamata U. Wasamata U. You know, this might be a good time to get on the other side of zero. Just a thought. Yeah, I'm trying, Cookie. If Rocky the Flying Squirrel became a flying Walenda, what would he be? A great tightrope walker with a moose pal, a goggles wearing stunt pilot with a moose pal, a rodent cannonball with a moose pal, or an androgynous flying clown with a moose pal. I'm gonna say it's a cannonball. Well, what do we have here? I'm usually the so good at this game. I'm doing so bad. Unfortunately, uh, Rocky, if he were a Walenda, he'd probably also be known for falling off of said tightrope. Heart. Hey, buzz it. The category is... Run, don't walk away from your problems. Hey, I don't want to say anything, but I will. Y you got to get out of the hole here. Shut right? up! Who would be most likely to run off and join the circus circus? A free spirit who wants to sing on Broadway, a restless freak who likes cruise ships, a troubled teen game show fan, or a quiet loner with a gambling problem? I think it's a, it's it's a cruise ship. It's a cruise ship. Me and make Victor love you, like G. Jesus Christ, it's been forever since I could actually make one of your streams. Thanks for making that lasagna tweet. Yeah, no problem. Well, that was craps. Circus Circus is a Las Vegas casino. Oh got shit! An park I knew hotel, that. I actually bags, knew that. A quiet loner who doesn't like quiet or being alone. I think we can work with that. And yeah. here's your category. I'm so mad I could toot. Okay. And right this way, please. 
heart. If you're angrily playing the organ-like instrument known as the calliope, what is the most accurate way to describe what you're doing? You're banging your head against the wall, you're working up a lather, you're blowing off steam, or you're stomping your feet. Take it! What the hell is wrong with this damn Oh, pussy? it's stopped, Mr. Damn, damn sucker. Okay. A calliope is a steam-powered musical instrument, yeah. so you can blow it off steam. But you just can't stay angry for long when you're playing a calliope, now can you? Coming up. I'm so bad at this. Boy, did you pick a dilly. Here's the question. Piccadilly. If London's Piccadilly Circus were actually a circus, who would be the ringmaster? The god Eros, Lord Nelson, Queen Anne, or St. Paul? Go for it. St. Paul, sorry, that's wrong. Oh, don't be mad. Here's the one you wanted. In the center of Piccadilly Circus is a fountain statue of a little winged guy. The statue is known as Eros. Uh. If you like clowns, you'll love Piccadilly. There are clowns everywhere. Clowns who shop and have funny hair. All right, it's... Oh, uh, M Sleeper, thank you very much. Me and me thicker love you, G. Cosmic Eggy, Cosmic Eggy, Cosmic Eggy. Thank you for following. Get your buzzer finger I'm doing ready. terribly. Here we go. Please they stop following. The brothers actually had a unicorn in their show. According to legend, who would have captured it for them? A trapeze artist of noble blood. Take it. According to legend, unicorns can only be captured by virgins. Yep. Well, duh. I mean, who would you go to if you were a horny horse? 1999. Right. Well, you win some, you lose some badly. Here's the category. The greatest math test on Earth. You've heard P.T. Barnum's famous quote, there's a sucker born every minute, right? Yep. Well, then. Um, how many suckers were born last day? Fuck April? off. It's yours if you want it. 864,000? No, that's wrong. But don't be mad. Look who's here to cheer you up. In case you're wondering... Oh, man. 60 minutes times 24 hours times 30 days means 43,200 suckers. Of course, since 1871, when Barnum started his circus, there have been about 62 million suckers born, which pretty much explains the Midwest. Oh, I get the question. I get the question. I misunderstood the fucking question. I like to call this category... Always remember to keep your barker on a leash. Hey, you know carny is slang for carnival worker, right? Because they have a carny, which group would you expect to try to guess your weight? The Spice Girls, Salt and Peppa, Wilson Phillips, or the Osmonds? Go for it! The Spice Girls? Look, don't even mention their name again, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Why do it's we keep... Okay. Why do they keep referring back to that fucking organ? Is... Wilson Phillips has a china, a Wendy, and a Carney. And how do they guess your weight? They hold on. <laughs> Who's Wilson Phillips? You, you, you see, that that's the name of their big hit song, Hold On. <clears throat> have some water. Are you God. sitting down? Well, of course you are. You're at a computer. At any rate... Well, I for one am very excited. We have a dis or dat question. And this dis or dat question's category is... Let's talk about family. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's... The name of someone from the comic strip Family Circus... I know nothing about that. TV's Family Ties. Oh, I know nothing about either of those. God. If you right answer, you get some cash. And you lose cash for a wrong answer or any you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds to nail all seven. Let's do it. Valerie. Billy. Skippy. Jennifer. Good morning. I've been up for an hour. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. I'm gonna need a particular person's email address. 
All oh, right. Reno, are you here? Paging Jason Reno. Dr. Jason P. Reno. Uh, Reno's there. All right. Um, what's your email? Lectra needs to send you something. Are your DMs open on Twitter, Lec? Yeah? DM Electra your email. Okay, Lec? Yes, a document will be shared with Okay. Talk to you later. Love you. All right. Lost two of them, but at least you got the majority. Let's look at your total score. That's what your current score looks like. Let's keep going. Looks terrible. Okay, you got something. Here's what we're looking at. It's a three nipple ring circus. So, have you heard about the bizarre spectacle known as the Jim Rose Circus? They were part of Lollapalooza, for instance. Well, anyway. Say you attend the Jim Rose Circus for some wholesome entertainment. When you leave the show, what's the one thing you'll not have learned about the human body? A penis can carry the weight of two irons, a woman can pleasure herself orally, an adult body can fit through a tennis racket, or it is possible to drink the same beer twice. Go get it! The circus proves it is possible to drink the same beer twice, though it's usually not the same color the second time. <laughs> Watch and learn. You know, the Jim Rose Circus provides a lot of unique entertainment, but uh, that particular act is not part of it. Okay, folks, let's hear it for Spineless Susie! <laughs> God. Do not try that stunt at home. Yeah, right. Good God. Okay. Do I think it was more edgy back in the day than modern Unino you know, Jacks? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Let's not talk about my sexual exploits from high school. Let's uh, check out this jack attack. <sighs> God. Oh, it's a Ford. These are old ass cars. Yeah, these are old ass cars, man. But it's it's a good way to study for the show, man. I don't know. Oh, it's a Geo Metro. Right, it's a Geo Metro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. There was there was a car called that. Okay, well I know that one. I, I'm doing terribly this game. Ah! The Fiat 500. I know that one. Yeah. Man, this is this is this is bad. I, I don't know. I can't believe that was the name of a car. That was the name of a car? My god. Yeah, I did bad. All I right, did let's see poorly. Your final score. Oof. Please stop following. <laughs> Next week on Hallie McNeil, Hallie opens up about her maternal instincts. Hallie, I had a really nice time tonight. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, that's just the dancing embryo. He shows up whenever I feel my biological clock ticking. It looks like a sick tadpole. I know, isn't he cute? Well, I guess it's just you and me, dancing embryo. Hallie McNeil, Mondays. <laughs> what the fuck? 
kisses. What the fuck? Good lord. Was that a joke about prostitutes that you drink the breast milk of? Was that the joke? It's a pleasure to see you. You know, I think we're gonna have a good game here. It's gonna be just like butter. Well, I hope you took your lactate. We're taking a ride on the Milky Way. Okie doke, let's check out the category. Dairy, dairy, I need your hugging. Let's see that question. If you wanted to use real butter to butter up your lover, which of the following should you say? Your eyes are blue as the land of lakes. Take it! It's like real butter. So kiss and make up, but remember, keep those sticks wrapped. <laughs> okay. This one's called... Dairy Fresh Rock and Roll. Let's get going. What dairy treat might you expect to be served in a white room with black curtains near the station? Ice milk, cream, yogurt, or custard? It's yours if you want. White room is a hit by Eric Clapton's old band. Oh, cream. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's what I you, thought. This guy Clapton is in a whole dairy aisle by himself. We're calling this one. Are Cracker Jacks kosher? Yeah, I think so. You know how sportscaster Harry Carey always shouted, Holy cow! Well, yeah. if Harry Carey said holy cow because he believed cows to be sacred, go get it! Yahtzee! Cows are considered sacred by Hindus, especially when they hit home runs. Holy cow! Holy cow! Okay. Okay, give it up for... No thanks, I'll just spread some vomit on a cracker. Yuck. What do we got here, 3200 and change? All right, let's do it. Suppose a group of dairy farmers are having their company photo taken. Instead of, say cheese, what should the photographer say to get them to smile? Say pasteurized blocks of yeast. Say pressed and matured milk curd. Say non-lactose oxygenation process. Or, say hormone altering cow injections. <laughs> Go for it. What? But if you really want these farmers to smile, just put a teat in each of their hands. Good lord! Jump change. All right, let's see what we got. I'll whip your cream and beat your eggs too. Oh wow! Thanks. Hey, you were a kid once, right? No. Well, you've surely heard the phrase "last one ends a rotten egg." Well, if the last major fighting nation to enter into World War II were a rotten egg, it's yours if you We stink. We didn't join the war until 1941. That's why we're known as the land of milk and nanny nanny boo boo. Well, there you go. Here's your category. I get soggy in milk. Hey, you know how nations are always boycotting the Olympics for one reason or another? Well... Yep. Say the Olympic Village serves cold cereal for breakfast. Because its athletes are more likely to be lactose intolerant, what country will most likely boycott the Take it! Asians are more likely than any other ethnic group to be lactose intolerant. Yep. But given the choice between soy milk and sushi on my Wheaties, I'll take the fish. Soy milk does it's suck. Get tight. almond milk. Get almond milk. 
righty. Remember to buzz in on the item that correctly unites the pair on the screen. And don't forget, figure out the final bonus question, and I'll give you some extra cash. All right, let's hit the road, Jack. Normal dance party. And Zany Redhead Lucille. Watch Ball. The intersection between these two. Ball. Score. The cards are dealt. And applause. And. Oh, is it tongue? Oh, it's cow. Lady holder and show blank. Boat. Boat. Score. Fish covering and series of musical notes. Scales. Man, what do all these words have in common? Deals with the fly in your soup and dumb blank. Dumb waiter. Hand, ball, cow, waiter, right, scale. What do all the correct answers have in common? Hand, ball, waiter, cow, scale. Are they all things on which you melt cheese? Things you tap? Things that contain milk? It's, things tip. it's things you 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 tip. Yeah. Here's a tip for you. Don't get all hopped up on Twinkies, okay? You'll okay. thank me later. I won't get all hopped up on Twinkies. All right, there it is. Let's keep moving. I like to call this category Little Jack Horner got a better meal Good, good for hey, him Remember that old nursery rhyme went something like this Little Miss Postal Muffet 2 came out in 2003 tuffet, And no, it wouldn't whey. get me It would not get me banned So tell me, what the hell is whey? The liquid part of coagulated milk Mold scraped off an aged cheese The stomach Go get it Way to go Next we'll figure out what the hell her tough it is Whey is the watery part that separates from the solid milk curds when making cheese. I like mine in a rocks glass with vodka. Disgusting. Alright, coming up. Mount Olympus could have used a Starbucks. Yeah, I could have. It's true. You ready? Let's yep. go. So tell me, which of these is not a half and half? A centaur, a harpy, a cyclops, or the minotaur? Cyclops. I think I'll be taking my coffee black from now on. A cyclops is just a big old guy with one eye in the middle of his forehead. Yep. Oh, nice picking. Oh, wow. Oh, get out of here. It's time for a diss or dat question. That's, that's an expensive diss or dat. The category for this diss or dat is... With a little effort, you can show up at the same time. Okay, listen up, because I'm going to read off seven words. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a word that begins with chicken or a word that begins with egg. Huh. You're going to get some money for each right answer. And you're going to lose some for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Chicken or egg. Okay, okay you have 30 seconds to get all of them. And here we go. Wire, chicken, chicken wire. wire. Egghead, yeah. Beater. Egg beater. Liver. Chicken liver? Yeah. Pox. Chicken pox. Roll. Egg roll, yeah. Feed. Chicken feed, yeah. Hell yeah. What can I say? Seven out of seven. I got nothing to criticize here. That's what your current score looks like. Let's keep going. Hell yeah. God. Oof. Here's your category. Oof. Crying over spilled milk. 
All right. Hey, remember that 70s court case in San Francisco where the murderer got a reduced sentence for saying he was hopped up on junk food when yep. he did the crime? I do. Well, considering the famous defense used in the case, who would have been the most appropriate defense lawyer for the murderer of politician Harvey Milk? Twinkie the Kid. It's yours if you... Twinkie the Kid? Well, yeah, I guess it was known as the Twinkie defense. Yep. Maybe he can last Look it up. It's fucking crazy. From his, uh, snowballs. All right, Vic. Hey, you can live on that. Here's your category. You can't live on that. This used to be Sean Penn's playground. I know nothing about and Sean now Penn. The question. Say Madonna used a hand pump to get her breast milk flowing before feeding her baby. Which of her songs would best describe this process? Open your heart, express yourself, justify... Oh, it's, it's express yourself, yeah. Mothers can express yeah. breast milk right. by using a hand pump. Right. Okay. That had nothing to do with Sean Penn. Oh, wait, they were married. Right. Well, it's highly unlikely I will. Okay, buzz in and... All right, let's not fuck up the jack attack. Ah, smell that derriere. Oh, sorry, here's your clue. McDonald had a farm. Yeah, so we've heard. Quit bragging about his damn farm already. <laughs> Hate that guy. Well, what is it? A cat? A cat. Are we serious? This is the, this is the, this is the quiz. A dog. What the fuck? A dog. A dog. What is this? What's the catch here? A sheep. Right, yeah. What is going on? <laughs> So they're just literally making me guess animal sounds. I thought there'd be like a, a joke here. It's just animal sounds. Well, that could be anything. Okay. I got seven out of seven. You got all of them. Now go find some friends to brag to. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I got every single one of those questions right. I got every one of those questions right. That, wow. The game took a pity. They just had me guess animal sounds. Was the game calling me dumb? So, um, let's play this real quick. Let's play a round of this. So, You Don't Know Jack was obviously a game for adults. Um, but they made one called Head Rush. Um, which was like You Don't Know Jack, but for kids. And it was, I think, 1999 or 2000 when it came out. And, yeah. 1998. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see what kind of questions I get. Hey there. I'm Baby Diva. And congratulations for successfully installing the game. Now get over yourselves and tell me how many people are playing. Oh, you're too kind. Just you and me, huh? Great, I need your name. 45 seconds. Alright, pick your icon. Just hit the number. Mm. 30 seconds. Okay, your buzzer's gonna be the letter B. Hey, hold your pants. I got a bum leg. Hey, how you doing? Good to see ya, yada yada yada. That's all out of the way. Okay. So, here's what you gotta do. Question flies in, you know the answer, so you buzz in and you choose either one, two, three, or... Hold on. 
four. Then you either win a bunch of cash or get your arms inside the car at all times while the game is in motion. We're off. Okay, pick a category. Say hello to Land of the Dying Virtual Pets. And you pocket 20,000 clams if you get this one. Hey, are you familiar with haiku? You know that Japanese form of poetry? Well, yeah. see if you can pick the line that completes this haiku. My Tamagotchi, I forgot to care for you. Should the last line be, fly far away from me, I'll meet you in hell. My Tamagotchi, fly far away from me, I'll... My head is full of doo-doo, or... Haiku is that three-line poetry that has five syllables, then seven, then five syllables per line. I'll Meet You in Hell has five syllables. Yeah, I never understood all the fuss over those digital pets. Ooh, time to feed Fluffy! Okay, I need a category. Now serving C3PU. You give me a right answer, I give you 30,000 bucks. Hey, did I tell this you I'm working the on the prequels. next Star Wars movie? Yeah, well, I'm not, but I just thought I'd tell you that. If the next Star Wars movie features a villain named... This Dar was in 98. Phantom Menace wasn't out yet. Darth Vader? What will audiences most likely hear him say to Luke throughout the movie? Luke, I am your mother. Luke, I am a cow. Luke, I am a Hindu. Or... Luke, I am a rapper. It got milk. Poop. Uh, in case you're wondering, ah! Veda are sacred Hindu writings, and Hinduism is the main religion of India. You know, I am auditioning for the voice of one of the robots in the next Star Wars movie. Listen. His name is Fart2D2. I need a category. Well, now, what do we have here? Hey, you just picked a dis or dad. The category for this dis or dad is entertainment news is a joke. Still okay, is. Okay, someone's in a hurry. Okay, get the monkey MTV out of here. MTV or Saturday go. Night Live. Okay. And we're off. Serena Altschul and Kurt Loader. Norm McDonald. Kevin Nealon. Colin Quinn. Tabitha Sword. Last one. Don't That's fucking challenge me. Yeah, Don't Check challenge me on 90s SNL. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, let's move on. Category, please. Good lord. And here we have... I like my molecule. Okay, first of all, do you guys remember the fact that, like, in the 90s, the big kid thing was gross out humor like that was the thing was like crazy gross out humor yes yeah we remember okay fuel is shaken not stirred this one can get you 10 grand heads up here it comes if secret agent james bond gains the power to join atoms together in molecules how might he introduce himself my name is bond chemical bond my name is bond bail bond my do it sorry most nuclear bonds don't save the world Oh, is it isometric? <laughs> Fuck. My name is Loser. Major Loser. Chemical bonds join atoms together in molecules. Hello, my darling. Do you mm. mind if I join you? Oh, James. I thought this was about, like, nuclear fusion or something. Alrighty, pick one. For your enjoyment, the man in the moon and his big hairy butt. Get it right, I'm handing over 20k. Flex those fingers, cause here it comes. How often does the moon actually moon the earth by showing us it? Never. The moon always faces the earth with the same side, so we never get to see the far side of the moon. We wouldn't want to see the back side of the moon anyway. It's probably got craters all over it and Klingons. Okay, I need a category. Hey, it's time once again for a visit with our resident English teacher, Milan, the janitor. Just talking with Milan. 
What? May I introduce things nobody wants to lick. 20,000 bucks for a correct answer. Welcome aboard, Milan. Always a pleasure, my Bob friend. Hey, you got one of them uh, special grammar questions for us? A question and some personal hygiene advice. Ooh. Please, observe. Oh my God, Milan, put your shirt back on. Look at me and learn, you disgusting specimen of a human. <laughs> oh, Milan, you are totally cut. But of course. Wow. Now listen carefully. <laughs> Please, lick underneath my sweaty armpit. Milan, what? Now, you fool, pay attention. Sorry. Which word in the sentence, please leak underneath my sweaty armpit, is the preposition? Leak underneath. It's yours if you want it. A preposition shows the relation of a noun to another word in the sentence. In this case, indicating the area of sweat I want you to leak. Isn't this game the best? Is aren't these games the best? You are going to ask I love these to games. Parts of your full They're so body, fucking weird. Be polite and say please. And oh, oh, you. and yeah, and in case you guys don't know, this is the stuff that the Jackbox Party Pack people made in the 90s and the early 2000s. This was what they were making. This is the start of that company. <clears throat> Remember, sweat is just your skin's way of going to the bathroom. That's beautiful. Well, oh, thanks. Man, he turned him gay. He, 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 he made him realize how much he loves cut dudes. Are the older games better than the newer ones? They're different. I wouldn't say they're better or Open worse. Open wide and get ready for... Yo, bum rush the game show. How does $20,000 sound? Lads boogie. If Public Enemy does a follow-up song to Don't Believe the Hype called Don't Believe the Hypotenuse, what lyrics would you most likely... Go for... In a right triangle, the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. Yo, yo, we got some hypotenuse in the house with their righteous right angle. Kick it, boy! That didn't sound any like a public enemy. This baby is, uh, this thing. 20,000 bucks <laughs> says you don't know this one. This okay, thing. let's see who spends way too much time in chat rooms. If you're a left-handed loud laugher with braces who wears shades, which of these emoticons will you not need to describe yourself on your AOL account? Oh, and uh, let me get this out of the way so you can think better. This one, this one, this one, or this one? Do it! This here is the symbol for, oops. Yep, that's the one you use when your parents catch you using their credit card to get into adult sites on the web. Hell yeah, bro. All righty, pick one. <laughs> and I believe this one's called Playing Doctor with Howard Stern's Private. By the way, this is the game that was made for children. Just so you remember. Parts. $10,000 for this one. A one, a two, a three. If Howard Stern changes his name to Howard Sternum, where will you most likely find him? Between two nostrils, between two breasts, between two butt cheeks, or between two ears? Chicken. Take it. Chicken. Oh no, the butt cheeks are clenching. Run! Bet you wish you would have picked this. <laughs> the sternum is the bone at the center of your chest, otherwise known as the breast bone. So I guess the argument would be over. I mean, there'd be no doubt that Howard Stern is a total boob. How old are the children supposed to be? Like 10 to I need a category. My God. Jesus, they this died. This category is known as, there's a party in my pants. And it's worth 20,000 bucks to get this one right. Okay, so you know how different coins have different dead people's faces on them, right? Well, yep. what if all those dead people decide to throw a party? If Abraham Lincoln is hitting on Susan B. Anthony, while Franklin Roosevelt is dancing with George Washington, oh, fuck. loose change oh, in your pocket. Oh, no. 75 cents, a dollar 16, a dollar 36, or two dollars and 11 cents. Oh, I don't know. Go for it! Oh, shoot. Susan B. Anthony's on the dollar coin, Roosevelt's on the dime, Washington's on the quarter, and Lincoln's on the penny. That's right. a buck 36. Yeah, okay. You know, I don't mind them dancing down there, but I wish they'd stop trying to spin that disco ball. No, this wasn't for children. You don't know Jack was for children. This game is called Head Rush, which was effectively You Don't Know Jack, but for kids and tweens. 
Okay, I need a category. Don't move, because we'll be right back after this short commercial message. <sighs> Cola. I'm not thirsty, but you are. What? <laughs> Time for the head rush. Keep your eyes glued to the screen, because when you see two words that match, you better buzz in. If you're right, you got 5,000 bucks coming your way. But if you're wrong, you owe me 5,000. Oh, don't forget. Remember the clue. Your match better fit this clue. How she kicked my ass. Oh, wait, can I say ass? I don't know. Ass? Can I say that? Oh, well, good luck. I don't know. I don't know these people. Like, it's sports questions. I'm literally guessing, man. Oh my god. Sorry, the guy sending me all those PC games just texted me. Hold on. Life is crazy lately. Um, yeah, life's nuts. So, uh, for the show, by the way, something that Coolman came up with. Is that a 2000s Nokia phone? No, it's, it's my iPhone. It sits on a wireless charger on my desk. Um, Coolman came up with the idea of hooking up a fax machine in the room. I'm not showing it. I'm going to randomly have an unboxing video appear on the YouTube channel. Okay, Coolman? Like, that, and I'm going to live stream the unboxing as well, just so you know. Oh, I've already ordered a Nokia cell phone. It, it's just won't come. It's just not going to be hooked up to anything. I'll just once in a while be like, oh, shoot, I got to charge my phone. Hold on. And then I get up and plug the phone in. It's one of those, it's not the, the Nokia phone that's known, it's the one that came out shortly after that was really popular that you, I don't know if you remember this, but there were, there was a Nokia phone that had replaceable face plates that you could choose a different color that you had. So, I was thinking about possibly getting, like, a temp SIM card, that, like, just one of those prepaid SIM cards you can get at Walmart or something to see maybe if they still make one of those for a phone that old. Uh... Also, um, Coolman came up with the idea of hooking a fax machine up in the, in the set, in the room, so that people can send me faxes from the future. Um, 
Uh, um, add, uh, add, uh, can you, uh, DM me on Twitter. DM me on Twitter. Man, life is nuts. Are the DMs open on Twitter? Tell me if they are. They should be. Don't tell people. Don't tell too many people that they are, though. Otherwise, I'm going to get a bunch of, like... People have sent me the most heinous shit you can possibly think of, and I just... I had to close my stuff in the past. Like, dark web, illegal to even receive kind of shit. You know what I mean? Oh, obviously I'm not going to wear my Apple Watch. No, I'm 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 looking at some Casio watches. Yeah, not the calculator one. One of the uh Marathon Man ones. The glow in the dark ones. Can't DM me? Give me a sec. What N64 games do you got? Um, I've packed away all the stuff that I'm probably going to move up into that room, but I can go check in a minute. Let's see. Manage account security. No. Privacy. Direct messages. Who can message you directly? Allow message requests from anyone. Low quality filter. Show red receipts. There you go. There you go. Should be good now. Wow, my message requests have been off for two years. All right, let's finish this up. <laughs> Process of elimination. Yeah. I know nothing about this people. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, fuck, never mind. Why am I yelling? That's the game. Hey, way to go, Green. You know, it's like I always say. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose, as long as you get to play with yourself. Now, uh, get away from the computer and go make some friends, will you? Bye-bye. My God. I own this game. I own the physical copy of this game. I swear I'm going to show you. This was meant for children. First, I own this. The You Don't Know Jack's Jumbo set. Um, this didn't cut. This, I think this came. Oh, 1999. Okay, so this is. This does work. The You Don't Know Jack Jumbo set came with all the games that had been released up until that point. You don't know Jack Offline, which isn't on Steam and you can't get anywhere. It's probably the hardest one to find. The one we just played, You Don't Know Jack the Ride. It's my favorite one. You Don't Know Jack Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 1. Um, I don't know why they did it. They didn't give you jewel cases for all of them, but... Registration card. Volume 1, 2, and 3 manuals. And then this is fun. 
stickers to put on the buzzer keys q p and b because you like it went up to three players but you all had to share a keyboard to play so and then um my favorite thing about the game this game is that it came with an audio cd of commercials it came with a cd just filled with some of their fake commercials because you don't know Jack is supposed to be a game show that you're participating in over the internet. And they, like, at the time, they, like, did as much as they could to try and, like, add to that immersion of it. And so they make a bunch of, like, fake ads and stuff. And so they put some of their favorites on a disc. Oba Nostra. Oba Nostra. <laughs> It's big. It's hot. Why doesn't it kill us all? Learn about the sun tonight. What the fuck? It's big. It's hot. Why doesn't it kill us all? Learn about the sun tonight. With all of the guns. Here at Arthur Daniels Heartland, we work every day. Hi, I'm Donnie Dunghill, and this is my son, Don. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, anyways, we're the owners of the Dunghill Burial Emporium and Sons. Unfortunately, we have lost our lease, and now we must have special clearance sale, because they are kicking our ass out. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. But here's the good news. Go ahead, Donnie. Why don't you tell them our coffins have been choosed by more families than the... Go ahead, Donnie. What? Go ahead, Donnie. Why don't you go choose? Tell them about the coffins we got on set of kicking us ass out. The other guys... <laughs> Good lunch, Mom. Oops. Billy, your mouth. Look out. Oh, Billy. Out of my way, you old bag. Who are you, and what are you doing in my house? I'm the brazen paper towel man, and I'm here to clean up that spill, unless you'd rather use that wimpy, sorry-ass paper towel you usually use. Well, how good is brazen? How good is brazen? Shut your trap, and I'll tell you. Hey, you can't talk to my mom like that. Shut up, punk, or I'll smack you on the back of the head with my class ring. Brazen paper towels. <laughs> Why do I get the impression that in spite of your manifested happiness and joy, you suffer from crippling depression? Man, I would have no idea where you would get such... I have no idea where you would get such an idea. But yeah, you don't know Jack's great. I've been very open about my mental illnesses. So you don't have to be a, a detective to know that that I'm mentally ill. Please stop following. Oh, thanks for the follow. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Voice of nobody. You're not nobody. Don't say that. Yeah, so you don't know Jack Jumbo? Got this at a thrift store for $2.99. It advertises it with how many questions are across all the discs the first game 800 questions second game 800 questions third game 800 questions fourth game a thousand questions fifth game 800 questions you don't know jack jumbo you see but the thing is they give you you don't know jack one but not you don't know jack one fl xl i mean because you don't know jack xl had an extra thousand questions maybe they reused them for volume two i don't, I don't know Please stop following. Hold on. I'm giving the guy I'm giving this guy my address so if I get doxxed anytime soon we know who did it then I have his address so I've been watching you from Varen recently sparingly so the most depressing thing I know about you is that where your dad threw away your computer and that gave me depression oh yeah my upbringing was weird
So, I need to go through all the games I own. And whichever ones fit the time period that we're doing, go upstairs. And the ones that don't, stay down here. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. From 2004. I got it. Congratulations. Do you want to tell him what you did? <laughs> it's done. You can. Okay. You want to tell him? No, you gotta tell them. It's your thing. Come on. So this is a no. This is a no. I recently got this. For the show. Very cheap. Because no one wants something like that anymore. Here is my... Oh, my boo bear has left. <sighs> Counter-Strike Condition Zero in the box. This is from 2003, so that cannot go upstairs. I'm texting Reno. You're texting Reno? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, just so you know, I don't normally wear green on green. This is embarrassing. She doesn't normally wear it, but she's worn it for four days straight now, so. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't think I want to say. Oh, okay. I mean, they can probably tell by my Twitter if they follow me on Twitter anyway, but they probably don't because I'm boring and lame. You are not boring and lame. Go follow Electra on Twitter. Also, under my green... 1996. ...is Inuyasha. So. What is that noise? Oh, we're getting raided with 12 people. Thank you very much. How do you pronounce your name? Uh, Rearzy. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, please follow. What year is Thief 2 the Metal Age from? So are you going to tell him? Um, I don't know, because now they're strangers. Here. Me and Mick Vicker love you, too. <laughs> Hi, Tyler. Uh, why Baldrid? Baldrid? Why Baldrid? Ye Baldrid? Thank you very much for the 23 months on Twitch. Oh, Tier 1 Twitch sub. If you're new to that channel, please sub or follow or any of that good stuff. And welcome, Raiders. Uh, we're currently going through some of my old PC games to see which ones would work for my Time Machine show. And picking out the games that, the, that were released in the year 2000 or before. Thief 2 came out March 23rd, 2000. It'll go upstairs, but it has to be hidden until the cutoff date is reached. Are you okay. going to tell them or not? Okay, but we're going on a date to celebrate. Yeah. When are we going? Well, it's already, like... like okay. Yeah. So what do you want to do? I don't know. What are we celebrating? <laughs> you tell them, you tell them, you tell them. We got NASCAR pinball. Electra... This takes this this requires just a little bit of exposition. My wife Electra worked in the mental health field for a while after getting her degree in psychology um, in 2018, and she hated it. They're going to get married. We're married. Um, she quit after only if, like six months of totally working in the in the industry, maybe five. No, it was six. Is six? Yeah. <laughs> uh, because she hated it. Um, and it made her the most depressed I've ever seen her. And I just couldn't take seeing her like that. And in order, almost as like a therapeutic excuse, a therapeutic measure to, to help herself out with what she had just gone through and seen in the mental health field, she started writing fiction, fantasy fiction, just out of nowhere. She just, really she just kind of just randomly started writing a book in a google doc it was, really random. it was completely out of nowhere and i mean the ideas for it were, were very free throw flowing at one point she was writing a manga script that she was going to draw with her brother and then that kind of turned into a novel and then she just kept writing a novel and then for like a year and a half she was writing this one four volume fantasy epic uh, that was really, really good, and I loved the story and characters of, but then randomly back in, like, mid-November, early November, she goes, Hey, I have an idea for a book where this happens. Just a tiny little bit where she's like, this happens. And I'm like, okay, well, you're working on this other massive quadrilogy of books. So, like, what are you saying? I wasn't smart enough. I wasn't good enough to write it yet. Yeah, it was a crazy, complicated story that she was working on beforehand. 
I so, good enough. Yeah, I was too and so she's like, I have this idea for a really simple story about this guy and this other guy and this thing happens. And I go, how is that a book? And she goes, I don't know. I just need to get it done. I need to get it down. And so she just starts writing this book from scratch, absolutely from nothing, based on this single idea she had about a character relationship. That was back in November. She just finished the first draft. She just finished the first, just now. She it's just finished her first draft. Hand. How many how many pages is it? It's only like two nine. It's almost three hundred pages of the first draft. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy because she was working on the previous book for like year. almost two years. It was a, year. a year and a half. And then in five months, she she just completes her first draft, three hundred pages. It's a very, very good story, and Reno is gonna alpha read for it. Which means he got the Doc, he got the document sent to him. He's gonna read it and give and critique it and stuff. But it's very, very good. It um, is so, do, okay, do they understand how hard it is to finish a book? Like, I don't, yeah, no, I don't think so you understand. Hard. I don't think you understand. Um, she, it's all she does. It's all she ever wants to do. Um, and I am investing in her because I know that her her writing is good enough that it will get published, which is why you know I'm the person that brings brings in the income for the time being because I know that when she gets published she's going to be bringing in significantly more income than I ever will oh, yeah. she's going to be the next she's going to be a non-hateful JK Rowling so those <coughs> I, those expectations are too high no I know success. I know yeah I'm sorry <laughs> yeah so um, what was funny is she was getting through it fairly quickly and then two weeks ago She's like, I gotta finish this, but there's so much more work to do. And I'm like, get it done by the end of the month. Which sounded impossible. <laughs> and she went, okay. And I'm like, no, no, you're not. Don't say shit like that you're not gonna be able to do. Because she needed, like, so much done. Yeah. It's still not And good. so she went, she's like, I'm gonna do it. And she has been working 10 to 12 hours a day for the last two weeks getting it done. And she got it done. She literally just now finished it and she hates it there's a lot of problems with it that that you know and it's funny because for the last two days she's like oh i'm almost done with it and then she's like i just found a massive chunk that i didn't write god damn it and it's funny that i can talk about it because my life since the pandemic started has been her walking around her ha the house or in bed writing on her phone or writing on her laptop or writing in her office and then just once in a while, she'll be like, okay, read this. And she'll hand me her phone. And I just read chunks that she tells me to read. Okay, so what'd you think? And then we have these long, like, long conversations about what she... We've been doing that for, like, two years. Yeah, but, like, the last, like, six months, probably, like, we don't really have the long conversations. Well, well we used to go on walks every day, but the weather's been terrible. And we would just talk about her, her characters and writing and stuff. And the funny thing is... She asks me to help her brainstorm, even though every time I come up with any idea, oh, wow, she really picks on me. She says shit like, no, that. but you say shit last night. You're like, Tyler, if you wrote a book, <laughs> it would be the most misogynistic piece of shit book. No, 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 no. Because you give ideas and I'm like, Tyler, would you actually make your character say that? And he's like, no. And I'm like, why are you telling me it then? Like, that's terrible. So there was this one time... There was this one time that I we were on a walk. Oh, wait, look. How the hell can you write on the phone? I don't know. She just does it. You can be so productive and creative so much time of the day. You can you can you be so productive? I think they mean how can you How be? can you be so productive? Uh <laughs> she's she's severely ADHD. Yeah. So this the 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 life hack there is a pink a medium pink drink from Starbucks. The life hack is literally my brain is yeah uh, she's super adhd which means if it's something she doesn't want to do she won't do it going so far as to get like physically viscerally angry when she has to hang up clothes when she's like putting away laundry she's i don't want to do this it's, it's, i'm so bored but when she's writing she'll disappear for 12 hours and come to bed at like eight in the morning yeah so yeah I finished my first draft. I've never finished a first draft before. I've come close, like, on... Yeah, like, the first book, you, yeah. You could have called that a first draft. But, but um... Kind of sucked. 
I am going back to like the first thing I did, but I just felt like I was too, I wasn't smart enough to write it yet. Mm -hmm. If anyone writes, if they know what that means, like I feel like I have to get better before I finish that because it's like too much. It was too much. It, yeah, when she ever, if, if she ever does talk about that, what, that first idea, yeah, it was an insanely convoluted, like, not only did it did it have to do with the sake of our world, but also our existence and our reality, and like it was it was as big of a story as you could possibly write. Well, I mean, it's not that big. No, in terms of like the stakes. Uh, yeah. Like it's it's not like crazy world building to the point where it's no, crazy. but it's like it's like. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um. So. What was funny was we go on walks all the time to talk about this stuff, and we went on a walk not too long ago. Oh, no, this was a while ago. And I can't, I don't think she's going to let me give you any <laughs> plot related stuff to the first book. But to tell the story, I kind of need to tell you that, so I, but I can't. So we were talking about ideas, and I gave her the idea of hey, your main character, in order to get back at the guy she likes, should go on a date with someone that works for animal control. And then they go out on a job, like an emergency animal control job, and that reminds her of her first, of the other guy, and it makes her super upset. That and she just so... looked at me and just burst out into like crying laughing because she, that was that is the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing I have ever heard. That's the dumbest thing I have ever I heard. I was not that mean about it. I laughed a lot, but I didn't say that was the dumbest. I didn't swear. Okay. <laughs> she still refer re references that references that once in a while as like one of the worst ideas I've ever given her. But she'll ask me to brainstorm, and I find that she only asks me to brainstorm to give her ideas on what not to do. Like, well, if that's what this dumbass thinks we should do, then I'm gonna go in an opposite direction. <laughs> Because, like, honestly, how often is it that when we're talking about brainstorming, I give you an idea that you like? <laughs> um, I think twice. We have been doing this for two <laughs> years. Twice? Twice. Probably. This has been a daily thing for, like, a year. Like, okay, not daily. Black. Twice? <laughs> oh, Wow. No, I'm not sugaring my words for the stream. I, I just really found this game, me. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. I don't know what it is, but it's just the disc. Tyler makes it seem like I'm more aggressive than I am. Well, the fact that you just said twice, that's pretty aggressive. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe you just fucking said twice. That actually just pissed me off. <laughs> twice! Times? Oh, three times. Okay, well, now I'm fine. Four times? What is the number you're happy with? Dozens, unfortunately. We've had, like, days and days of conversations. Okay. Dozens. What year did Ford Racing by Elite Software come out? Oh, it doesn't matter. This disc is destroyed. Okay, never mind. Yeah, but sometimes I hear Tyler down here trashing me. No. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Not trashing me, but telling a story, and like, he explains my reaction as like way more intense than it really was. <laughs> but um, of the two of us, I definitely think Tyler's the moodier one. Tyler's the what? Moodier. Yeah. And um, normally, I'm in a way better mood. <laughs> Okay. Not that he's, like, meaner. I mean, like... You are coloring me as a meanie. Yeah. Like, when he's off camera, he barely talks. Yeah. And I'm, like, jumping around in a circle laughing mm -hmm. and <laughs> being annoyed. I barely talk. Ford Racing came out November 2nd, 2000. Okay, that's a no. Here's the original version of the Oregon Trail. I want to see. Are we going somewhere? Places are going to close. Yeah. Quake 2 Mission Pack, The Reckoning. I, I want to win this. Is it possible? 
To win the Oregon Trail? Yeah. You can actually win? Yes. Like, what's your what's your success rate? Uh, mine? I've never done it. I mean, of the average person. I have no the idea. Success rate. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Do you want to go thrifting? I don't know how late do they stay open. Look at that. This was my grandfather. My grandfather was a big fan of flight simulators. He made it? Yeah, and he used to take notes about how to start the game properly. It looks like it's in a different language. Microsoft Flight Simulator 1.0. Okay, we gotta go because things are gonna close. Alright. Alright, well, thanks for uh, listening about my book. Even though I didn't tell you anything about it, I just told you. Do you want to give him a synopsis? Um, it's about this guy and this other guy and this girl and this other girl and this other guy and this other girl and this other girl and this guy. You even just lost me. That's too many characters for what's actually... You're lying. That's how many characters there are. Well, important ones. Huh. When can you buy the book? It's it's the first draft, so probably not a, I'm sold. Oh, a long time. I'm sold. It's fantasy. You guys like fantasy? That's all she ever writes, and that's all she'll ever write. Do you think this game came out, was out in the 90s? No. Do you think this game was out in the 90s? Learn to speak Italian? Yeah, probably. Thank you for people saying good things. I'm sold. It's about this guy and this other guy and this girl and this other girl and this guy and this other girl and this other girl and this guy and this other girl. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Some fantasy stuff happens. Some fantasy junk takes place. They hate their life, so then they hate their life some more. And then they torture, and then Electra tortures some stuff. And, and then they're like, maybe there's hope, but there's no hope. <laughs> And Electra loves to just absolutely kick the shit out of the main character. Like if like in a, in the current iteration of this book, you're gonna feel so bad for the for the main guy. Why do you act like I torture him? Like you do you read fantasy? You do not read fantasy. Like, come I on. Him. You, Have you read you, Outlander? <laughs> you torture the guy, oh. and you know. <laughs> You know that you do. Come on. Don't, don't, don't lie. If you have ideas, then you should write them. <sighs> I saw someone earlier say that they wanted to write. You should write. Also, I'm an editor, so you should send it to me, too. So. Yeah. I also do beta reading. So, come on down. Wow, I'm really self-promoting myself. Mm-hmm. Hey, a good fantasy has to have some tragic backstories. I agree. It's not a backstory. It's happening. Wait, I do want to say this. I and and this, this guy has a terribly tragic backstory. Let me tell you something. When I started this story, the basis of the idea was to write a book where everybody's parents are alive. So, nobody's an orphan. Well, there is one person. But... They're, I mean, the dude's the parents character. are alive, but he is also kind of an orphan. Okay, but they're... Every <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He's with his parents all the time. Okay. No, he's not. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> but that was, like, the goal I set out. I was like, literally, my characters are not all going to be orphans. Like, they're all going to have parents. Do you see how much she lights up when she's talking about books? It's like a different person. This is her all the time off stream. She's just vibing. <laughs> you should check out Vampire the Masquerade lore. Yeah. What is that, a book? It's a tabletop RPG book series and a video game. Yeah. The creator of Fallout did it. Wow. She won't. If but. you give it to me, because I'm confused if what it is. You what? would play the video game? What is it? It's got guns in it. No. Yep. I don't like guns. 
Oh, by the way, Coolman came up with another idea for the show. We put a fax machine in the room and people can send faxes to the future. How do you do that? I have a friend who did it for a live stream a while ago. And he's going to tell me how to do it. But unfortunately, buying a functioning fax machine from the 90s is kind of expensive. Hang on, people are recommending fantasy books and I gotta take a picture. Okay. I was talking to Reno. Look, wait. I mean, he does, though. He, so, he shows me unfinished stuff That's all the time. you're like, you know. <laughs> How expensive are we talking? Oh. About 250 bucks for the ink and the thing. For the whole setup with ink? Yeah. <sighs> Check out the Vampire the Masquerade V20 Core rulebook. Okay, we gotta go because then places will close. Do you wanna go to Boardman? Hey, you shouldn't say something like that. You shouldn't say that. It's gotta be... It's got to be period accurate, so. All right. Myth, I have seen all these videos, and I have played all the games that you are recommending. I appreciate the suggestions, though. All right, everybody. Electra really wants to go, so Bye. Every everybody go follow her on Twitter. I love you all. I hope all, all good things for you guys in your life. I'm manifesting positivity and everything... <laughs> Everything will be amazing, so. All right, we're going to raid Iano. No, we're going to raid Jimmy. Uh, James Paddock, Big Doom creator. Everybody tell Jimmy about my 90s show and that I want him to kind of be a part of it, okay? Someone's talking to you. Oh, I'm pretty sure Cathode Ray Dube on YouTube probably has a trick or two about setting up fake at home television network. No, I already know how to set up the phone. It's the it's the fax that's gonna take a bit. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Please, uh, your secret code is banana bean. Please type in banana bean right now so I know that you've seen it, and then we'll end as soon as I see some banana bean.